Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we learn how to find the Laplace inverse using second shifting theorem. Not the second shifting theorem that we learned in Laplace, but the inverted version. The statement goes like this. If the Laplace inverse of a function is f of t, basically it means you should be very good with all the formula in Laplace inverse or you should be able to find the Laplace inverse of some basic functions. Then the Laplace inverse of that function multiplied by e power minus a s is given by f of t minus a multiplied by u of t minus a. I hope you remember the unit step function. If you still don't know about the unit step function, it's a very, 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 very important thing. You can check lesson number eight in Laplace transform. Okay, anyway, the most important point is you should be able to identify these questions in exam. We learned um, Laplace inverse for partial fraction. We learned convolution. Uh, now, what do you call? You can do adjustment method also that I have not specified in the videos. And these problems are pretty visible in exam because of the presence of e power minus a s where a is a number okay i'll show you one question so please write find the laplace inverse of e to the power minus pi s divided by s square plus one okay I can clearly see that e to the power, I'll use the same color and circle it. Can you see? So this e to the power minus pi s tells me I have to apply the second shifting theorem or the inverted version of second shifting theorem. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as e to the power minus pi s multiplied by 1 by s square plus 1. Now, I want you to take a very good look at the theorem. I want you to take a very, very good look at the theorem. Can you see red and green? Red is e to the power minus pi s. Leave it. What is the function? 1 by s square plus 1. The question is, do you know the Laplace inverse of 1 by s square plus 1? Yes. So, I am going to do like this. On one corner, I am going to write f of t is equal to Laplace inverse of the green function that is the function along with e to the power that minus a into s in general and that tells me f of t is equal to what is the Laplace inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 I guess yeah sin so it will be sin t in the next line what you do is you write f of t minus a what is a here pi that is sine this means you have to replace every t with t minus pi now i hope you are like what you call good with a little bit of trigonometry what is sine 180 minus theta but wait a minute, this is not 180 minus theta, so I'm going to flip it. And when you flip it, you have to write minus. I hope you understood that. If you want to write A minus B as B minus A, we can, we can, we can write A minus B as B minus A, no problem. But you have to put one minus. And second thing that you must know is, sin minus theta will be, minus sin theta if you are weak with your basics please pause the video and check it once more so once more let me tell you you call f of t as laplace inverse of the green one green one means the one along with e to the power and after that replace every t with t minus a in this example a is pi and what is sin t minus pi sine minus of pi minus t and that minus will come outside and if you are good with your basic trigonometry this is something very simple 
sin 180 degree minus theta will be sin theta so you end up with minus sin t okay you have to do all these steps uh, on one side of your answer copy and you have to show the steps in exam you have to show the step in exam now i'm going to apply the second shifting theorem so what is f of t minus a it is ready so it is f of t minus pi and u of t minus pi and that will be minus sin t u t minus pi if you want you can leave the answer like this if not you can write the definition of u t minus pi and simplify further okay let's check out one more problem otherwise uh, it won't be that clear i think let's go for one easier one okay this looks easy okay find the laplace inverse of s into e to the power minus 2s divided by s square minus 1 in examination if they ask such questions you should not be shocked so remember all we know is partial fraction method the adjustment stuff the adjustment method which i have not mentioned in the videos but when you look at the books etc you'll know and convolution method anyway here we have to apply the second shifting theorem the inverted version it is very simple all you do is you write this as and how do you know I had to apply the inverted version? Very simple. The presence of that e power. And I'll write the remaining part like this. Now I'll color it for you. Red and green. Now tell me what should I write on one corner of your copy? F of t. F of t means laplace inverse of the green stuff green means the quantity or the functions along with e to the power i hope you remember the formula it starts with s so it is not going to be sine and the denominator is minus so it is not cos it is cos hyperbolic you can read that read this as cos t shine t etc or if you don't want to read like that you can read this as cos hyperbolic t okay now you have to create okay this is our f of t now replace every t with t minus a what is a here 2 that means replace every t with t minus 2 okay we cannot simplify this further so i am going to write the answer here what is second shifting theorem t minus 2 u of t minus 2 and we already have the answer to this cos hyperbolic t minus 2 multiplied by u t minus 2 if you want you can simplify further anyway i am stopping with this okay let's try another problem this is very very important very 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 important so please write find the laplace inverse of s e to the power minus s divided by 2 plus pi e to the power minus s whole divided by s square plus pi square if you see this question you might feel that you won't be able to do it but this is like very easy first of all tell me what is a plus b divided by c isn't it a divided by c plus b divided by c yes so that is exactly what I am going to do. Laplace inverse of s e power minus s by 2 by s square plus pi square plus pi e to the power minus s divided by s square plus pi square. Now I am going to split this into two problems and I am going to write it like e power minus s by 2 s by s square plus pi square plus laplace inverse of e power minus s pi by s square plus pi square i think you got a rough idea now i hope you don't mind if i write a by b as 1 by b into a so s by 2 can be written as 1 by 2 into s so this is e to the power minus 1 by 2 into s s divided by s square plus pi square 
plus Laplace inverse of e power minus 1 into s e power minus s means e power minus 1 into s pi divided by s square plus pi square come on now we are going to apply second shifting theorem the inverted version but since we have two functions I am going to use f and g so our red red for this green green for this f of t is equal to and for this one I will write here f of t is equal to but this will create confusion so I will write g of t so tell me what is f of t f of t means Laplace inverse of the green one come on tell me the formula for s divided by square plus pi square is it sin or is it cos so cos pi t and what is Laplace inverse of the green one for the second function so this is sin pi into t okay now what should I do f of t minus 1 by 2 come on tell me how do I know I write t minus 1 by 2 very simple look at the red one that is cos pi replace every t with t minus 1 by 2 now distribute you will get cos pi t minus pi by 2 and you can write this as cos pi by 2 minus pi t when you write a minus b as b minus a yes we have to what you call put that negative but cos minus theta is cos theta I skipped a few steps and cos 90 minus theta is sine okay and similarly you can simplify this and the theorem goes like this f of t minus 1 by 2 which we already know the value multiplied by u t minus 1 by 2 plus what will be the second one I am using another function g g of t minus 1 multiplied by u t minus 1 anyway I didn't find g t minus 1 that's very simple of course sine pi t minus 1 and that will be sine pi t minus pi I'm going to flip it that minus will come outside I'm skipping a lot of steps pi minus pi t and sine 180 minus theta will be sine theta so I end up like this substitute that's it so I'll be back with another video very soon uh, and I wanted to practice a lot of questions I'll show you one or two more questions of the same type so you can write the question find Laplace inverse of e power minus pi s divided by s square plus 4 try it and Laplace inverse of e power minus pi s divided by s plus 3 Laplace inverse of e power minus s divided by s plus 1 the whole cube I will strongly recommend work out these questions and even these questions are not enough take past papers and try to work out maximum questions that you can anyway I'll be back with another video very soon and that will be Laplace uh, transform applied in solving differential equation so till then my friends bye